Hey Aquarius, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. These are general readings. So as with everything in life, we take what works, we leave what doesn't. Uh, check your other major placements if I don't catch your storyline in this one. And um, on Monday, I'll be reopening my uh, personal reading. So you can email me at empressrose1111 at gmail.com to set that up. I'll send you instructions and all that stuff. All right, so we're going to start with this Oracle Mystical Moments deck. Oh, as you can tell, I am on the road. And so it's a little bit wonky in this different space that I'm not used to where nothing is like set up the way I would normally want it. So, um, so yeah, forgive me if I'm a little, well, I'm sure you will. You'll be fine. We'll all be okay. Okay. So, well, we'll start with the bad news. We have one of my least favorite cards in this deck, Eva. It's not evil, it's just Eva. It's just, it might be evil, it might not be evil, we don't know, but something's not as it seems. That's all we can say with this card. And I wish it gave us um, a name and a number and a situation um, specific so that we don't go off in our imaginations, imagining who exactly and what exactly isn't as it seems and and what what's is it, it probably looks better than it seems right and so that means that something has to be worse than it seems and oh my gosh but it could be better than it seems although unlikely although if you do like reptiles it is way better than it seems if you are allergic to flowers but you love reptiles then this is something that seems terrible but is actually very good most of us are a little tripped out by reptiles so by uh, snakes um and less so by flowers. So um, so this is something that may look like a flower. It's uh, in your life, it may look like a flower, but there's some sort of deception going on here, whether there it's self-deception, because oftentimes I feel like people lie a lot, but mostly it's to themselves first and then to everybody else after that. Uh, but they're convinced of what they're saying. Um, and then there's, you know, general lying. There's all sorts of levels and, and things of lying. So um, this is just some dishonesty. Something's not as it seems intentional. We don't know. Unintentional, possibly. Um, that's a generous idea of it. Um, so this is just referencing something that's not as it seems. Um, and then we have into um intuitive flowers <laughs> there's weaving flowers so it's these intuitive hits sort of winks from the universe uh coincidences intuitive uh vibes coming down here and it's you're making something in reality with it you have no idea where this any of this is going it's you don't have a, a real clear vision right now but you do know that that you're taking these these understandings these ideas uh that coming into you from the divine from whatever channels you use to connect to the divine um and you're making something in reality with with your intuition and these intuitive hits here um and then we have the white rose of hope so Aquarius, this white rose of hope is here, uh, something you hold very close to your heart. It's very pure, um, very, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of a self-explanatory card. It's a card about hope. It's a card about a singular hope that you have. Um, it's very powerful. You hold it close to your chest. You maybe don't talk about it. You maybe don't share a lot about it, but it's very close to you. You just feel it in your heart. Okay, now we're going to move on to this Ethereal Visions deck for our main body of our tar tarot reading. The straight tarot. All right, Aquarius. For Aquarius, this is your past, your present, your inner landscape, what's at issue, your environment, your to-do list, and your possible outcome. Interesting. Hmm, maybe it's not, something's not as it seems. Maybe something seemed more promising than it was going to be. We'll see, we'll see what's going on here. So in your recent past, you have this queen of pentacles, an accomplished person who um, has, has their money, has their career, has these like more grounded things um, under control, under their hand. They're focused on it. Uh, they have, you know they've done a lot of work um there's a harvesting vibe here it's our queen of pentacles she's 
very focused on what she has and on what is hers specifically what's hers to to harvest to gather what's hers um what has she worked for um what is her money what is her house what is her job all those sorts of things so our pentacles always deal with um you know the sacred in the reality that's the the idea of the pentacles we have this world and the world even the physical aspects of the world have a sacredness and a spirit to them so she's focusing on the physical world but that doesn't make her shallow or materialistic it could but it doesn't necessarily mean that so in your current situation, uh, your present moment, you have the hanged man. So this is um, this is human fruit sort of ripening on the branch, on the vine here or the branch, and um, and you're 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 working on um, coming to an understanding, on freeing yourself, on changing your dynamic, on changing what's going on here. That's in your present moment. You or just the vibe of, of working on it. To me, this card is like, um, if you're trying to undo a knot and you're sitting in your chair, working really hard to undo a knot and, um, to the casual observer, you appear to be doing absolutely nothing, but you, your mind is focused. Your mind is very clear. Your body's pretty still. Just your fingers are, are wiggling things trying to to get free of a situation some sort of um, mental trap perhaps or or getting free of this um, this deception self-deception or this thing that wasn't quite what it seemed so you're you're working on getting yourself free we don't see a lot of movement out here but that's because we're not that's just the dynamic is your the works internal and the works um, you're unraveling something you're uh pulling at something and, and trying to figure something out probably trying to figure this out um but it also has the same vibe of this as far as like working with your fingers working with your hands um working with the strings and and moving but she's not moving she's probably to the casual observer sitting there just kind of wiggling her fingers, which is sort of what knitting and, and crocheting all kind of looks like. You're just sitting there and just, just your hands are moving. So that's really funny that I feel that these cards are very similar in that way, in that um, that the, the present situation, um, you're figuring things out and it's changing your reality, but it hasn't changed it yet. You know, she doesn't have her finished product yet. She's just kind of um, following her her hands and how she feels and how her body feels. I mean, I think it's, I'm getting such a physical vibe off of this, maybe because we started off with this Queen of Pentacles, but just this, um, this almost physical unraveling or physical creating. We have unraveling and raveling, and they both kind of look exactly the same to the external observer so in your heart in your internal landscape your hopes and fears we have this eight of cups so you are hopeful that there's more there's more to understand there's more to be found out i had a um a landlord who always used to say more shall be revealed and um well it's true and it's just a call to towards patience more is gonna come out um but here you're not just gonna sit there i mean you are sitting there you're sitting there we have a lot of sitting around going on right now in this reading where you're sitting there and you're really starting to realize that there's something more fulfilling and you're very you're hoping that there's something more fulfilling again we have your intuition up here we have that calling to the moon or or seeing by moonlight by the reflected light by self-reflection and everything else that these eight of cups to the casual observer is like isn't that enough success isn't that good enough isn't that fulfilling enough aren't eight cups eight cups are a lot you can't even carry eight cups in one i mean i think a pretty good waitress could but um but most of us aren't going to be very good at carrying eight cups around um so you know that's that's more than an armful of cups really so why aren't you satisfied with that but there's something in you that knows that there's something more there could be more to the story there could be there's more to be done there's more you're going someplace um there's more to there's more here there's something more fulfilling there's something else so i think you're hopeful that there's something more fulfilling and i think you're really hoping to go pursue that and figure out what else there is here um it could be this hope thing you know you have a hope you have a dream and maybe in your hand you've got these eight eight of cups it looks very satisfying looks like you have everything you need but there was something you were hoping for to get out of life and to get your intuition is telling you that there's something more out here so that's where where your mind is and your heart is is thinking about something more 
Um, and then we have this uh, King of Wands is what's creating the problem or what's at issue here, but we take that in the reverse. So the King of Wands upright is very much in touch with his intuition, very charismatic, almost a Phoenix vibe of having risen from the ashes, um, gets people to follow him, very um, very strong, very patient. Um, well, not very patient actually. So, but we take it in the reverse. So we could be, we could be feeling impatient or not in touch with our intuition. Um, not very charismatic, not, um, really calling forward a group of people to, to, to we're not able to call the troops forward. We're just not, um, or it could also be, so it's the King of Wands gone wrong. So it could also be just overly, um, the other way this can go wrong is overly, um, I want to say, I don't want to say dynamic, overly, um, fast moving, uh, making decisions way too quickly, just, um, not necessarily, um, intuitive but impulsive so impulsive can feel a little bit like intuitive they're not the same thing um but i can see why people get confused i occasionally get confused about being intuitive and being impulsive so um so we could have a very impulsive king someone who's in charge and has some authority here who's moving a little quickly making impulsive decisions maybe he thinks they're intuitive but they're actually impulsive so this is, could be what's going on here is a confusion between our intuition and our impulsivity um and then in your environment just going on around you we have the lovers so i mean i was just thinking like in your environment you could actually like have two roommates that have fallen in love and it's making it very awkward for everybody but you could also um generally the lovers is about sort of a romeo and juliet type story and not the romance part but the part where the world around them wasn't going to support that um and didn't want them to do that so they had a choice to make whether to go with their hearts and love the person they were being called to love or if they were going to go with their families and with the expected storyline and the expected behaviors and rules and all of that and and follow what had already been set out for them to follow so um, this is a choice that we all make with careers with relationships with all sorts of things um, so this is our intuition calling us to do something but we're having maybe some difficulty understanding the difference between our intuition and our impulsivity so this is something where um, in your environment there might be a decision and a choice to make between the spreadsheet the thing you can defend in court the thing that your parents you can explain to your parents and they'll be like oh yeah that makes sense yeah okay good idea and the thing where they're going to be like what are you crazy and it's not going to end up on a spreadsheet it's the type of decision that's never going to survive some sort of pro con list it's a type of decision that is just um seems a little nuts but it's a difference between following your heart and following the rules and uh hopefully most of the time those are the same thing but in your situation or in your environment right now there's something in your environment where there's a dichotomy there between those two things and people are being asked to pick um with that so but i love how we have the lovers here this is so sweet though we have the lovers here followed by the ten of cups so this is this is the energy you're supposed to be coming into look you do your your intuition is wondering if you're wondering if there's more cups out there and the energy you've got these eight of cups and you're wondering if there's two more and the energy is yes there's two more look at this full emotional fulfillment this card can mean um, also that whatever situation we're talking about has reached its fullness of emotional fulfillment. There's not more emotional fulfillment that this situation can reach for. So in some situations, it's like, this is good, as good as it gets, okay? So if that's good for you, great. If not, seek out. So you may be trying to figure out if, if you have all the 10 cups or not um and so this is not necessarily having a baby but it is really kind of cute how it comes after this one um it is about like the fruition and things coming to fruition the fruition of love the fruition of um you know the baby is is the full um you know metaphorically is the the baby is the full expression of love the completed love um the completion of that love so i feel like you're being called to pick 
the emotionally more emotionally fulfilling situation if there's a choice to be made uh, you're not going to be impulsive but you're going to like differentiate between impulsiveness and intuition and you're going to be going for or you're going to be realizing the fullness of this love so you do get the two cups so whether you realize that your current situation actually is the full deal or that there's something else out there and since we do have this eva here i'm saying i, th I think that this is like a call for you to go there is more emotional fulfillment than what you have so um so something you were hoping for yeah keep going for it keep working for it because this is that um, fullness of emotional fulfillment that you're supposed to be stepping into right now um, this is calling to you this is the energy that you're supposed to embody right now is allowing for the full emotional fulfillment so the completion of a love um, cycle a relationship or something like that an emotionally fulfilled completion then in your so what we do when we when we go in that direction towards our emotional fulfillment and our emotional completion is then where we end up is we've done this work and we're ready to wait for our rewards so you do, you do the work for this emotional fulfillment you do the work in following your intuition you do the work in creating this uh this thing um in real life you do this work of you know changing a bit by bit unknotting yourself um you do that work and here you are you're waiting you're waiting maybe a little impatiently but you do have fruit and you have it ripening right so here's the fruit the human fruit ripening and here you are waiting for it to come to fruition you can see literal like fruition right fruit -ition. so you can see it you can see your fruits right there they're right there and all you have to do is wait for them to ripen uh, now so you've done the untying of the knot huh we usually think of marrying as tying the knot um but and then you wait for so you're you're being called into some sort of emotional fulfillment um and then having to wait um which is the opposite energy that we have with this guy which is like impulsive moving forward um and this is no longer being impulsive but waiting knowing you've done the work knowing you've put in the work and um and waiting for your fruits to ripen so you can take them to market or whatever you're going to do with them eat them take them to the potluck give them to your friends and family especially if they're a zucchini all right aquarius i hope that that reading was helpful for you thank you so much for your likes comments and subscribes um it is fun to interact with you guys on the um although i am slow i am slow but i do love to read your comments so thank you i hope you have a great week